What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. As the world turns in the sport of boxing, it's a big soap proper sometimes, man. A lot of plots, a lot of twists. In the shocking turn of events, the WBO has mandated that its champion in the welterweight division, Terrence Bud Crawford, must face number two rated Sean Showtime Porter. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Didn't see this coming. Both parties have 30 days to come to an agreement or the fight will go to purse bid. And that means that the PBC can bid on the fight. Top rank boxing can bid on the fight. Matchroom boxing can bid on the fight. Golden Boy Promotions can bid on the fight. Triller can bid on the fight. And it's basically an open season on the fight. And I hope it do go to purse bid, actually. Because I want to see how much this fight is worth. You know, you hear people say, oh, there's a lot of money in this fight between Terrence Bud Crawford and Sean Showtime Porter. But now one of these two guys have ever headlined a successful pay-per-view. So we don't know if this fight is actually as lucrative as everybody has led us to believe. And we're going to find that out if it do go to purse bid. That's why I hope it do go to purse bid. But the monetary uh, split of the fight will be 60-40, not the traditional 80-20 per WBO. And that's because they based that on the last three fights that Terrence Bud Crawford fought and what he earned and the last three fights that Sean Showtime Porter fought and he earned. And they felt that 60-40 is a more uh, representative of what each fight is worth in a fight between these two guys. So it's going to be a 60-40 split. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. We will see what happens. We will see what transpires. Everybody been uh, basically uh, calling out Terrence Bud Crawford for the last six months, I believe, saying that he need to fight Sean Showtime Porter. This would be the best opponent of Terrence Bud Crawford's career. You know, Sean Showtime Porter has never been an easy fight. Every fight he lost, it's been a close fight, very competitive. He's a guy that makes you very uncomfortable in the ring. He's got a football player's mentality, very athletic, great footwork. You know, he throws a lot of punches. You know, he's a guy that's a very physical fighter. You know, he's a guy that works to the, works you to the body. You know, he doesn't have a lot of power, but he's got enough power to get your respect, man. And he's a guy that's pretty much, if you kind of soft, if you ain't, if you type of fighter that, you know, is basically a finesse type of fighter, or you type of guy that uh, needs space, you need distance to uh, actually uh, do well in the fight, then you're not going to be able to deal with the pressure and the in-your-face style of fighting that Sean Porter brings to the ring. Just ask Andre Berto, made him very uncomfortable in the ring, basically uh, made him wave the white flag. <laughs> he did the same thing to Pauli Malignaggi, did the same thing to Devin Alexander, did the same thing to Adrian Broner. You know, he pretty much uh, dominated those guys and stepped his uh, imprint on those particular fights. And he'll be looking to do the same thing to uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, which will be a tougher nut to crack because he's a switch hitter. He's a guy that's a softball, very high boxing IQ, great jab, a guy that can go from uh, softball to orthodox, a ferocious fighter, a guy with a mean streak, a guy that's a complete fighter, good body puncher. He don't get enough uh, credit for being the body puncher that he is. Just ask Julio Andongo or Julio Julius Andongo. Just ask him in that unification fight in the junior welterweight division as he uh, stopped him with a body shot. So he's a guy that's very, 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 very smart fighter. And to me, he's number one on the pound for pound uh, rankings. In my opinion, I know a lot of boxing experts, a lot of boxing pundits have Canelo Alvarez as their number one pound for pound fighter. But I don't subscribe to that. I believe that Terrence Bud Crawford is number one on the pound for pound list. I just don't base it on uh, just resume. I base it on uh, eye test. And I just look at the uh, close fights that Canelo Alvarez had with, you know, Austin Trout, the two Triple G fights. And I thought he lost the first fight. And the second fight was a draw. You know, he uh, barely beat Ezra Lara. You know, so he's, he's, he's uh, he lost to Floyd Mayweather Jr., you know, I don't think he, a lot of people say he got shut out in that fight. I think maybe he might have won one or two rounds at best. But he got dominated in the Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight. 
And you never seen that happen in any of Terrence Bud Crawford's fights. Now, Canelo Alvarez has fought higher caliber of competition than Terrence Bud Crawford. But I'm just looking at the eye test. I'm just looking at the uh, attributes both fighters bring to the table. And I just think that uh, Terrence Bud Crawford is a notch above Canelo Alvarez. But that's the breaking news. Terrence Bud Crawford must face Sean Showtime Porter. Or he might have to relinquish that belt if he uh, refuses to give him his title shot. Because that must be the next fight for Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, he can move up to 154 and uh, start challenging some of the guys at a one, 154 pounds. It won't be Jamel Charlo as he's got his mandatories uh, lined up. And then everybody won't see him in a, man in a uh, rematch with uh, WBO champion Ryan Costanos. So, I don't know. He got any kind of lucrative option moving up to 154. This is his best option, you know, while Earl Spence Jr. takes on Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Earl Spence Jr., in my opinion, is his top dog in the welterweight division. He's fought the, the better names, defeating Danny Garcia, defeating Sean Showtime Porter, taking on Mikey Garcia and defeating him, beating uh, Lamont Peterson. You know, he's uh, better than that with the top names, man. Better names beating better competition. Not to say that Terrence Bud Crawford hasn't fought anybody at 147. I don't subscribe to that theory. You got some people say he ain't fought nobody at 147. He he beat Jeff Horn, which was a good name, and he beat uh, Igas Kavalowski, which is a good name. So uh, if he's able to get by Sean Showtime Porter, who I do agree with a lot of people saying that that would be the best opponent on uh, Terrence Bud Crawford's resume. If he's able to defeat Sean Showtime Porter, then that would give him a high standing in the welterweight division, and that could set the stage for him to take on the winner of Errol Spence Jr. and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Let me know your thoughts about the WBO mandating Terrence Bud Crawford take on Sean Showtime Porter. Who you like in that fight? I like Terrence Bud Crawford to win a highly competitive fight, maybe somewhere around eight rounds to four, unanimous decision. I think uh, Sean Showtime Porter does do test. Terrence Bud Crawford, but I think he'll be able to uh, catch Sean Showtime Porter coming in. He'll get a bead on Sean Showtime Porter, bull rush style, and he'll start timing him and catching him with short, accurate punches, short, accurate two-punch combinations, and I think he'll be able to uh, kind of stifle that uh, Sean Porter attack in route to a unanimous decision win. Let me know your thoughts about the WBO mandate in this fight. And hit the like button if you like the content of this video, and subscribe to JB Sports. The man, the myth, the legend, and I holler.